Most common time you'll have a leak in the circuit is if you've got, say, an LMA in. With an LMA, it's not a closed circuit, so I want to make sure that my pressures don't rise above 15 centimeters water. First of all, because that could then inflate the stomach, and then that's a problem because you might get aspiration, inflation of the stomach is just not good for ventilation, but also it can cause a regurgitation of gastric contents. Now, the reason I want to limit to 15 is that 15 centimeters water is roughly the esophageal sphincter pressure. I just don't go above that. Now, if there's a leak in the circuit, think about what that does with volume. With volume, you say you've dialed up 450. If there's a leak in the circuit, there will be a leakage of part of that volume and your body won't receive it. But if I use pressure, it doesn't matter if there's a leak, you'll still get the same amount of volume into the lungs as long as you've got that, you know, that pressure being received by the lungs. So therefore, for certain cases, again, LMA cases can have a leak, uncuffed tubes in pediatrics, and also ventilation of, say, where there's some kind of gas leak, so a pneumothorax case or a chest drain case, I'd use pressure control ventilation as well.